God has given each one of you, each one of us, a unique place in time and history. He's given you certain gifts and abilities. And now while there may be many ways that we are almost identical, almost exactly the same, where we're barely unique from, to, from moment to moment to moment, some of the things, that we, individual things that we experience, the collection of all those things, the gifts and abilities, your background, your experiences, all of these things coming together make you a unique individual. Your journey is unique. Nobody else is living the journey and living the story the way that you are. But many of us are trying to live and be exactly like somebody else. You are denying the uniqueness of what God has given to you. You know, we, we know we want to do something significant, or at least we say that we want our lives to mean something. We actually want to do something great. But then we turn around and we actually try to blend into the crowd as much as possible. You are loved, you are valued, and you choose to accept it from him as a free gift. You are also forgiven and therefore a child of God. And because he never changes, if we root our identity in what he says about us, then our definition of ourself will not change either. The only reason Peter considered doing something that is impossible to do was because he knew that Jesus was trustworthy. There's no other reason for him to have done it. When he stepped out of the boat, who he was and what he was was defined by the person to whom he was about to walk. That's where his eyes were fixed. That's, where he, that's how he was actually beginning to defining himself. He was defining himself by that relationship. But when he took his eyes off Jesus, he looked around and began to allow his circumstances, his surroundings to define who he was because that's what they were doing. He began to sink in his own fear. His definition of self, his identity changed from who Jesus said he was to who he thought he was. But God has placed in you gifts, abilities, passions, desires, and so much more that he actually expects you to use. And what you have is never going to be the exact same as somebody next to you. Live your life. Don't be ordinary. Don't follow the path of least resistance. Because the moment you choose to follow the path of least resistance, you have chosen to live beneath your potential for the rest of your life. If you choose to follow the path of least resistance, you will never measure up to the potential that God has placed in you. An easy life does not equal a life well lived. An easy life is an unchanged life. And an unchanged life is a wasted life. Because if you want to walk on water, You've got to get out of the boat. You can't do it sitting in comfort and safety inside the boat. In story, great characters take action and they are changed because of it. Just like Peter, it took courage and vulnerability to take action. But his life was changed forever because of it. 